All right, good people. I'm at Thermaltake and it's absolutely popping in here. And the reason why I'm wearing a Meta headset over here is because Thermaltake is finally launching a proper ITX SFF enclosure. Not something gigantic that accommodates an ITX motherboard, but something absolutely appropriate for SFF. This is the TR100. It's around 14 liters. It's a traditional sandwich style GPU on this side. So up to 360 millimeter length with these nice little support brackets over here, full accessibility from the front and the side. You can do up to a 280 millimeter radiator at the top with nice toolless panels. So it's a very you know traditional situation that you should expect from, from Thermaltake. And if you look on this side, power supply at the front, so up to an SFXL, cables are nicely managed, ITX motherboard. The only thing they're trying to change right now is to make the case slightly larger and wider to accommodate larger pump designs. But in terms of an SFF enclosure for $120, um, I'm really excited to actually see something that compact. And the reason why it's beside an actual suitcase is because this is going to be something as an, as an optional extra into which you can populate the enclosure and travel around. It has uh, you know space for your keyboard, space for your VR headset. And it's a nice little way to introduce little uh <laughs> nice save that's okay it's a nice way to introduce this type of uh enclosure to the market especially when it comes to fun colors the hydrogen blue they also come in black or white and uh yeah now let's check out some other cases but first huge thanks to our sponsors for making this trip possible thermaltake antech fantex and titrus and of course thermaltake has to join the the whole fish tank arena this is the ct e550 triple glass so you can admire all the hardware the motherboard is facing up you can do vertical gpus you can do gpu facing up as well uh triple 140s on all sides so the top the side and the bottom uh and the reason why i'm showing you this enclosure is because the color here is absolutely gorgeous this is what they call terracotta interior new gravel sand yeah so this is the new gravel sand color reminds me of the new lexus my goodness and with a terracotta brown interior which is a, a really cool contrast between like black hardware and brown interior so this is the new e550 i mean everything else is pretty self-explanatory now actually let's show you a proper fish tank enclosure now this is what they call immersion cooling this is obviously just a concept dual dual uh, graphics cards and you can see the entire enclosure is a proper fish tank with dielectric coolant inside with a single phase so that, that means it doesn't uh, evaporate as fast as dual phase. So this thing has two radiators and the fans you see spinning isn't actually the fans spinning by themselves. It's the liquid that's um, moving around and that's uh, why the fans are spinning. That's why the power supply fan is slightly twitching and that's the, the liquid actually circulating through and it helps with cooling. We are told uh, the temperatures difference between this versus air is about 20 degrees Celsius. Obviously this is just a very interesting showcase like concept on like why this is possible but i'm finally happy someone's doing a proper fish tank and it's thermal tech now this is the new tower 250 it's an upgrade to the previous tower 200 in terms of the dimensions and stuff it's uh, roughly the same size they've updated you know the, the design to have the triple glass array and the biggest change of course is the support for 360 radiator on the side as you can see here on a, on a black model which was uh, not available in the previous i think it was only up to a 280 but now we can do up to a 360. They've made it made it slightly bigger on the interior to accommodate bigger hardware. Yeah. So as we're here at Thermaltake, I mean, things are getting a bit louder. I think I'm losing my voice by the second. The violin is beautiful. I mean, it's the first time we're, we're, we're seeing something of that skies, but the Tower 600. So I'm actually quite excited to showcase and present this uh, enclosure because Obviously, it follows in the tower series in terms of the triple glass design. Everything is toolless in terms of removing all the, the, the panels and working with the enclosure. But the added width means you can do up to a 360 right by the GPU. So either radiator or just set of fans for intake or exhaust for that additional GPU cooling and up to a 420 on the side of the CPU without the need to remove the top fan, which uh, I think was uh, kind of the issue with the previous enclosures, but now it seems like because the case is just getting slightly bigger, you can populate everything on the, all, the, all the sides without compromising 
any of the other sides, including a 140 at the bottom and two 140 exhaust fans. So the Tower 600 just falls in the, in the slightly bigger footsteps. And if you look over here, the PCI bracket at the top can rotate entirely for a vertical GPU mount if you want to display your enclosure in this uh, orientation. And yeah, a bigger case comes with bigger I.O. So we have four USB 3s. Another upgrade has been uh, actually at the back. It's something minor, but it definitely was a little bit of an annoyance. So even if you come over here, so this portion has been cut. So if you need to remove the back panel, you don't need to remove the power cable, quality of life improvements. And over here, also we can remove this little panel, which is magnetic, if I have big enough nails. There we go. So we can remove the side panel just to access this area over here because it is angled. And uh, I do appreciate also this uh, small quality of life improvement. And of course, it will support backward facing motherboard connectors. So price wise, $169 is going to be available in four colors. And one really interesting thing that Thermaltake is introducing is, is what they call seasons. So they're trying to introduce some more fun into your life with different colors of, for the enclosures. And the Tower Series is going to be that uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, it's going to be that candidate for the seasons where every winter and every summer, they're going to try to introduce more fun colors in the summer, more muted, darker tones during the winter, just to bring a little bit more life into the, the series. It's going to start with a 250, but I think the Tower uh, 300 and the 600 are going to receive the, the better treatment for all the colors. But right now we have the matcha green, the white, we have this, uh, What's it called? The Hydration Blue, for example, is very beautiful, light, very fun to celebrate the 25 years of thermal take. So what do you guys think of the Tower 600? Let us know in the comments. And then we have the new series enclosure, the 350 MX. MX stands for interchangeable front panel. We have glass, but with plenty of openings over here. So it's not going to be a full choking hazard with a nice fine dust filter, but you can swap this out for a mesh panel instead. If I can take it out. Oh yeah, you removed the entire panel, it seems like. Ah, okay, okay, that's how, it, that's how it's done. Oh, okay, see? The glass is screwed in, so it's a good thing I wasn't pulling any harder, but basically remove the entire panel, and I'm sure remove the, the screws, install the mesh, and you're good to go. Again, they are continuing really fun colors throughout the entire range of the Series 350. This is your more of a traditional mid-tower enclosure. You can install fans above the power supply shroud, up to a 360 at the top or uh, at the front, yeah, up to a 280 at the top. And also, we want your opinion, guys. What do you think of this uh, optional screen on, on the side? By default, this thing comes solid, but you can install the optional screen. This is obviously from their AIO pumps, you know, some leftover stuff. <laughs> but uh, is this something you would put on, on the, the side of the enclosure? Would love, would love your feedback. This is what Thermaltake has asked us. So. Yeah, let us know in the comments, huh? Now, price-wise, we're looking at $119 for the Series 350. Uh, it's going to be available sometime in July. And obviously, right now, I'm beside all these other beautiful colors. Uh, and it will support backward-facing motherboard connectors, of course, is what Thermaltake calls uh, universal ATX. Uh, and, I, I mean, now, right now, we can only buy three of those motherboards, but uh, future-proofing seems like to be the key for many other cases that uh, are launching that type of support. And yeah, the Series 350, your mid-tower, the main thing is like, do we, do we like this screen on the side? Do you like it? Do I like it? Yeah. Absolutely not. Okay, it's gross. Thermaltake, please. All right, guys, so that's been the Thermaltake experience. Lots of new cases, lots of uh, cooling that you'll see from uh, in Mike's video. And I think the idea is to introduce more colors, which I really appreciate. They have it no, on the fans too. No one else is doing, oh, really? Yeah, so it matchy matchy. Matchy matchy. matchy. The matcha. That's right, yeah. And because no one else is doing like fun color options. And even though like all these uh, cases are like slight derivatives of the previous iterations, I do appreciate slight improvements, like with the, you know, the Tower 250, slightly bigger radiator and stuff. And yeah, let us know what you think of the, the whole Thermaltake experience. I'm Dimitri, and I'll talk to you in the next video.